Hello, I'm back for another real life video. I'm doing the intro outside because I figured that I've already started way too many of these things from inside the house. Anyways, that's the, the archery mat from the first episode. Everything's still here. It survived through a bunch of rain and whatnot. Anyways, as you can expect, I got another call from the post office. There are 10 packages waiting for me and now they know not to take priority mail packers. So these are 10 real packages and it's actually really freaking cold out here. I'm gonna walk to the car now. I'm gonna be going to the gym. So me and Mike started this thing where we work out weekdays and I drive over to his house and then either I drive us both or he drives us both to a gym and that's what I'm going to do. So I'm gonna pick up the packages on my way to his house. Then we're gonna go to the gym with all the packages in the car. That seems a little sketchy. I'm probably gonna leave my car at his house and have him drive today just so people in the parking lot don't see like 100 packages and try to steal that out of the car. Time to, whoa, I know. Hey, it's me. Anyway, uh, we're gonna go in and get the packages and then we're gonna meet Mike at his house. Maybe I'll let them open one of the gifts. I don't know. Gifts. Packages. Because it, it kind of, you know. What does that smell? It smells like I run over a skunk or something. Or a really big bag of weed. This time I got a whole lot less, or at least in terms of space, than uh, the other two times. But, you know, it's not always about the size of the packages. Now let's go to Mike's house. Which I still don't remember the address. Alright. I just got to his house and now we're... Waiting for him to come outside. I'm gonna drive him to the gym. <laughs> Who's driving near you? Hello, um, YouTubes. <laughs> this is Mike. Greetings. He's been on some <clears throat> of the streams. <laughs> I'll drive. Okay. I have to get my stuff. So how are you doing today? How am I doing today? I'm doing absolutely terrible. We don't have to record the whole thing, by the way. Oh, are you kidding me? I would love to record the whole thing. You record as the much whole... as or as little as you like, but I mean... As little up, as I like. As much or as little as you like. As it's up to Fezzi what goes in, I guess. Fezzi, you better not do me dirty like this. I mean, everyone, it, so, some good life advice. Nothing's illegal if you don't get caught. All right, I don't think we're allowed to bring that in, so we're gonna just skip until we get back. <laughs> Hello, we just made it out of, yeah. the, of the gym. Yeah, chest and crunch. Yeah, chest and core was really bad. I've never had a sore back before. It's yeah, was from yesterday. Yeah, we tried running after the workout though. Yeah, I'd rather do it in the beginning again. Yeah, exactly. Get your blood pumping. All right. Hello, it's really late. I dropped off Mike. It's dark outside. It's about 7 p.m. Yeah, it's time to finally do the fan mail thingy. Hello, I'm back. And it's the next morning because I got hungry and then I ate. Anyway, it's the morning, which means the lighting is terrible. So I tried hanging a blanket off of the... <laughs> With your box. What are you? A bag inside a box. There's a weird smell emanating from this. Hello, I've been lurking around. Uh, lurking around you for a while and I wanted to say hi. I hope this gets to you and I want you to sniff the... This is actual, this is literal coyote urine. No. 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 I was sent coyote urine. I freaking knew this was gonna happen at some point. No. Putting it back in the box. And you know what? You know what? I'll deal with this later, but for now, I'm putting that outside. I can't believe that's been sitting on my couch for like eight hours. Nope. I'm trying to get the labels out of the frame so that Fezzi doesn't have to spend like four hours cutting out the shipping label so that I don't accidentally dox whoever sends me things. What is this? A gift for you, hey 30. I've been a fan for a while now and finally had the money to send you something. Can you learn how to play one song for me? 
It could be any song. Thanks from Matten, but you could just call me Envy. Well, thank you. I don't know what this is. An automalone. I'm not a big music person, so I don't really know how to. Is this an instrument of some kind? It's got a little face on it. Screwdriver. This is a cool little gadget I got a few years ago. It's a screwdriver that you can like. But it gets stuck some. It gets stuck sometimes. Okay. How does this? Okay, I'm gonna turn it on now. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> okay. It's like screaming in pain when I put pressure on it. If I were to try anything, it would be from like the recorder back in like elementary school, but I don't remember it, so. I'm gonna return to this. I want to play a song on it, but I don't know how. Ooh, what is this? Oh, today's episode's theme is gross. They sent me crickets. Oh no, bacon and cheese, salt and vinegar, sour cream and onion, no! I'm a picky eater, chat. I've never had soup in my life. I didn't eat a hamburger until I was like 14. You really expect me to... Honey butter chips. Well, that seems a lot more pleasant. The idea of eating a cricket is so freaking gross to me. What is it? Let's try a honey butter chip. This can't be that bad. Woo. That's actually really pleasant. It's like a Lay's chip, but like butter. <laughs> oh. I'm gonna gather the I'm gonna I'm gonna gather the strength to eat one cricket before this recording is done. Did this go to the right address? I searched 30 virus on Amazon and this is what I saw. LMAO. By the way, please friend me on Hypix if you can do. Anyway. <laughs> Vita drops for small birds. Water soluble focus formula for parakeets, cockatiels, canaries, finches, and similar birds. High potency daily multivitamin. Provides vitamin C. What do I have to do with birds? I am gonna have to struggle to explain which one of these is the weirdest gift. I don't know. Now this scares me because it says time sensitive material, it says. Oh, there's shipping labels all over this thing. I'm sorry, Fezzy. It seems like it was shipped internationally. It's got a bunch of Mandarin symbols on it. So that would suggest it's from the East. No. Minecraft spider, look at that! Oh, that's kinda neat though. It's a, a Minecraft plushy thingy. Hey, just gonna interrupt this real quick because uh, this gift actually came from Bernie. And Bernie told 30 that it came from him, but 30 forgot. So, shout out to Bernie. Hey, for those of you guys that don't know, in the early days of 30 buyers, probably from like 2010 to about 2017, 2018. What represented me on YouTube was a cave spider in Minecraft. I don't know if you knew that. I wasn't always the computer hacker man with the green background and the hoodie and stuff. This used to be me. Well, thank you, man. This wasn't even from Amazon. This is like, that's cool. Copyright notch? This credits Notch? How old is this thing? This must have been made before Mojang left the team in like 2016. You know, they send a bunch of catalogs to the P.O. box and a newspaper. I didn't subscribe to any of this. It's just a bunch of garbage. It's not even from you guys. This is just a Burger King thing. What is this? They just sent me a menu. I don't care. That's a lot of coupons though, you know what? 
On behalf of our board of directors, staff, volunteers, and the families we serve, thank you for sharing a meal with your neighbor. From the Stanwood Food Bank, a receipt for your donation will be sent in January for tax purposes. Did someone donate to a food bank? On behalf of me? I'm not going to use that for tax purposes because I'm I I didn't make that donation, but you know what? That that's pretty neat. Someone donated to a food bank. Solicitation. <laughs> hmm. Again, not an Amazon package. I'm surprised. Whoa! It's got my name engraved on. Whoa! That's a big wallet. <laughs> and it comes with a one dollar bill in it. B Calibris, Brandon Calibris. For those of you that don't know, that's my name. Yeah, look at this thing. It's a big old wallet. Dear Brandon Calibris, aka Thirty Myers, enjoy the wallet. It's made from crazy horse leather, so it's nearly indestructible. It'll last you at least a decade or longer, no matter how you take care of it. Same stuff's been used to make saddles for hundreds of years. Keep up the content. It helps put me to sleep at night. Prototype in session. Hey. I remember you. P.S. The dollar is here because it's bad luck to gift an empty wallet. That is really nice of you. Thank you, man. I've had the same wallet since I was like eight years old. New wallet's my best friend now. That's pretty cool. Look at this guy. I don't think I've ever shown this on camera before. This is my Eagle Scout certificate card thing. I know that the Boy Scouts have been under some fire lately. Just to let you know, I never went through any of the situations that people claim to be going through right now. But thank you, man. That's really neat. I will use this wallet probably forever because <laughs> I tend to treat my stuff well. I mean, probably doesn't look like that considering how I treat my excess packaging. No! Dude! Here's some things I 3D printed from SuperCal. Bro, SuperCal is a very talented person. I'm about to show you why. That's the BlockShot logo. Okay, I know a lot of you don't know what BlockShot is. The Blockshot Network is aimed to be a survival adventure, uh, first person shooter server network for Hytale. And we're basically waiting for Hytale right now, but once Hytale officially is um, announced, we're gonna wake up and we're gonna make the Apocalypse game mode, which is gonna be like the my favorite games all put together, like Fallout, Hypixel Skyblock, <laughs> Clash of Clans. It's gonna have a bunch of really, really cool stuff to have like a survival adventure RPG experience with a little bit of base building and PVP involved. And the other one I was sent is for another thing that I'm a part of, and this is Highcast, which has a YouTube channel right now that I'd suggest you watch. Highcast is ran, it's run by Chaos. So once, again, Hytale launches, this is going to be a big player in the Hytale game in the podcast scene. We're gonna do interviews, and we're gonna do news. We're gonna hopefully interview creators and talk about updates and it's gonna be freaking cool. You should sub to these guys. They're a thing right now in the pre-release Hytale community uploading videos. I really like today's fan mail unboxing. It's so, this is so cool. Except for the coyote piss, we don't need that. This is the last package. And it has a coffee logo on it, which is weird. Freshly roasted coffee, freshroastedcoffee.com, well, um, I don't drink coffee. I was told that I was gonna get sent something by a longtime fan of mine, and at this point, a good friend of mine as well. His name is Aiden Green Ninja. He goes by AGN now on YouTube. We've been talking for years. What is this? Hey, Brandon, it's Aiden. <laughs> in parentheses, the Green Ninja, the one that has a dirt face on his chin in Minecraft and calls you during streams. I was on the stream when you mentioned that you had a P.O. box, but since I was doing school, I forgot. So here I am, making you an AGN special gift for the Christmas season, or whatever season it is when you're reading this. Below this parchment are some gifts that I thought would be fun to give you. I hope you like them. Thank you, Aiden. He's been around for so long, dude. What is... <laughs> There's a lot of goldfish in here. They're kind of crushed up. One bag. Two bags. Three. Four, <laughs> five, toilet paper, puppets, a fun trick noise maker. Oh, are these the things that you chuck on the ground and they blow up? A Pez dispenser with a, a monk with a rabbit on it. What is this? It has a piece of tape holding it together, which is scaring me. What is that? Now there's tape all over my finger. It seems to be under pressure, which is a little scary. Oh, 
No, I know what this is. Whoa, that was cool. It's one of those pop-up staff things. Now let's put it back together without breaking it. So just pushing on this button here apparently just makes it go You know what? I'm gonna leave that there. Uh, I also got sent Flarp Noise Puddy. This is a very random package. It seems a little, um... I don't think it's able to fart anymore. Oh, and there's Pez for the Pez dispenser. And a quartz rock. Okay. I tried to make plane. Ah, I see. It is a competitor to my paper airplane design. Let's give it a fair shot. Fly! Okay. No! What are you? See, I told you I bought a set of your buttons. Take good care of this one for me. I already lost one of them. Don't worry, I have three more. Bruh! This is what I was saying! I used to be a Minecraft spider lo- Oh, this is tiny. It's my old YouTube logo, a cave spider, but it has a button. <laughs> That's cool. That's- you can't get these anymore. They used to be available in my Spreadshirt shop, but I deleted it because I changed, I rebranded. Focus on the thing! I'm gonna put that next to the, all the other stuff on my shelf of things of YouTube related that wasn't English. Why is there food in here? I bought you donut sauces and fork. There's a piece of food in here and it's been sitting there for like a month. No. It is hard as a rock. <laughs> it's got barbecue sauce. Mild sauce, plum sauce. I can't eat that. <laughs> and at the bottom of the box, there's a bunch of memes. This is Brandon High on Cocoa Beans. That is a meme as well. <laughs> that that was Anthony saying bald virus. <laughs> Anthony scared to go on a roller coaster and then <laughs> another face. There's that awkward picture that turned into bald virus, then there's pizza virus, thumbnail virus. I've seen a lot of these pictures. Oh, and then here's the derp faces I've made over the years. There we go. <laughs> it's freaking cold, and I'm in my bare feet, and I just ripped the bag open, and now there's sawdust everywhere. Woo! Oh, that was empty. Hey, Fezzy, I challenge you to make the Mario theme with these. Now I think we've made it through all of the packages finally. Now let's get to the letters. So quick side note, uh, there was a lot of letters that came into the mail that day. And if we were to keep in all of them, the video would probably be like an hour long. So if your letter didn't make it into the video or if it's a little chopped up, don't worry. He read the whole thing and we're appreciative of you. It's just that uh, we didn't want the video to be too long. So also uh, he messed up the camera angle. So. Good job. There's a postcard, and it says, I need you to laugh now. Ha ha! Ha ha! It's a postcard with a, with a barn on it. The peanut guy, another peanut guy, you are a great person and love everything you do, and I love everything you do. Hey! <laughs> There's so many of these! I need you to dance now. I don't, I don't dance. I need you to jump. You know, I'm not like a dancing monkey for chat, you know. I need you to do a flip by a, a 19... 09 SVDB Penny now. Huh? I am Sammy the Bob on YouTube. I remember you, man. Hello. I have donated a bit to your streams in the past and really enjoy watching your videos and streams. Whenever I see you upload or start streaming, it makes my day. To be honest, I'm not even sure if you're going to get this. Oh, <laughs> if you're going to get this letter, I probably messed up the address somehow. Nope, it made it, but I hope you do. I hope you have a great holiday season and are able to be with your family for the holiday. Man, this, the PO box messed up. Almost a month later, actually. I really like how you can create original content out of a game that is devoid of it completely. That is true. But thank you, Sam. Couldn't think of something dumb to send you. Bet you're happy to hear that. So instead, uh, here's a letter I wrote at 10 p.m. At, on a school night. I'm gonna say what everyone is thinking. You can't vlog to save your life. Even Fezzy agrees. But it makes sense if you think about it. You're a Minecraft YouTuber, <laughs> not a vlogger. Fezzy should stop making fun of you for it. No, but that's what makes it fun. 
it's because I'm bad at vlogging that makes it funny. Hannah, AKA Candy, well thank you. Oh, there's another one of the postcards. He is old. It's like a piece of plastic. It says Minecraft, made by Noah. Oh, thanks for putting my letter in the first P.O. Box episode. Oh, it's Ben 9 Billion again, hello. Hello again, Ben 9 Billion. Here's another comic and something I made. Okay, everyone. I just maxed my Shadow Assassin armor for about 100 million coins. But now, I'm gonna <laughs> sell it and buy Necro. <laughs> but not Hyperion or Valkyrie. This is the Shadow Assassin armor he just made. Bruh, am I a joke to you? <laughs> it's Boomy Sauce. Look at that face. He sees all. <laughs> uh, that's incredible. I'm gonna put this here so you can see it as I'm reading it. There's 30. With your college video, I really relate to you with your story. Even as a middle schooler, I'm also stuck in a loop of school. I used to be a straight A student, with, but with online school, my grades have dropped. So you've inspired me to take control of my life. Even with your moments about looking at your keyboard and assignments passing by, I couldn't deal with school knowing that I could be having fun with my passion. So all I want to say is thank you for that video. It's your boy AJ. P.S. You and the gang remind me of fourth graders. <laughs> you can make it through high school. You can, I believe in you, but college, you have to make that decision very seriously because for some people, it's the best thing you can do and for some, it's the worst. So you have to be very careful with that one. <laughs> I think I can speak for everyone in your audience here, but we need you as a person. You make my day and thousands of others. Please say hi to Fezzy for me. Hello, Fezzy. PPS, if you are reading this out loud, you said PP. Pee -pee. From Mr. Potato M. I remember when summoning eyes used to be meta in Skyblock. Wasn't that not a fun time because it was terribly boring? You and Fezzy have kept me smiling and laughing throughout lockdown. I always look forward to your streams and videos, and I found that bald virus was particularly hilarious. Congratulations, sir. The camera actually recognizes what you drew as a face. There's little packages of cards here. It's a parapet, right? Look at that. And it shows the stats too. Superior dragon armor boots. Superior leggings, chest plate, helmet, 50 mil Midas. There's a 30 virus. I wish I could personally give you a creative mind for this, but I am not staff on Hypixel. <laughs> Whoa, speaking of, what is this, a lapis? Leggings? I think this is lapis leggings. But it's like in 3D, it's a, bruh. Slash ignore add derpy Oreo smiley face. <laughs> Look at that. Are these tea packets? Maple chai and pumpkin chai. The thing is, I do want to play other games on my channel, but it would kill it. So I'd have to do it on the second channel. Um, the only exception is I'm probably going to move over to Hightail once that comes out, but yeah. Well, thank you, man. <laughs> Anyways, we did it. We made it through everything. You guys are freaking amazing. I don't know how much is making it into the video itself, which is why I'm considering maybe on the second channel, I upload the full thing. Maybe. If I did that, it's in the cards, because... I want to be able to thank everybody, and if the video ends up being 50 minutes long, that might be a problem. I promised I would eat a cricket to end this off. It's like box material, but it's like wrapped around it. No! How do I break this off without breaking? Oh, here, let's get a close up of the head because then you'll immediately know what this is. There you go. That's a little Quebec from Hightail. Okay, so I should probably explain why I have this. I was sent a little figurine. I participated in a charity live stream event hosted by the Hightail community and Quebec Corner and Deck Alex IV and a bunch of other friends, raising money for Jacksepticeye's uh, red nose thing. Anyway, uh, turns out Noxy was watching and he like just entered the call and was like, hey, let's send you guys a bunch of little figurines. That's still really cool. You know, there's a theme with every one of these fan mail opening things 
that like a company sends me something. The first time it was YouTube, the second time it was Discord, and the third time, it's Hytale. Uh. And this is a bug. Let's just get it over with. Mm. I have water. I have the butter chips to wash down the flavor. Oh, I don't even want to touch it. It looks like a bee. Oh my god. I just licked it. <laughs> I would gag just by trying to eat a cooked carrot. That's how weird I am. Oh, I just ripped its legs off. Okay. I'm gonna start by eating a leg. You know what? We're gonna, we're gonna eat a leg. Because that's not, it doesn't have a face on it. So, okay. That wasn't that bad. Oh, I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. Okay. Mm. Okay, I did it. You better have liked the video. It wasn't actually that gross. It was just dry. It was crunchy. I didn't taste anything because I immediately chased it with the butter chip. It wasn't mushy on the inside. Thank goodness. Anyway, that's it for the fan mail number three. This has been probably the, the coolest one yet for multiple reasons. Although the sword from the last one was pretty cool. If you didn't see me unbox this, you should. Anyway, in the end screen, you should see the playlist for fan mail. You should watch it. There's some cool stuff. And if you want to send me your own stuff, hopefully not crickets or coyote urine, P.O. Box 666, Warwick, New York. It's in the pinned comment description. Okay, bye!